Okay, so it is Tuesday, Wednesday. My brain never allows me to remember. I know it's January 2nd, that I do know. Um, I slept last night, yay! Uh, I managed to go to bed uh, after I had finished recording and I prepped my bed all nice and comfy. I somehow just wanted to pass out, so that was a good thing. Um, the game plan for today was I was supposed to stay home and write and um, go out this evening. I woke up, um, I didn't start my workout, which was something else I was supposed to do. Um, I'll get that done at some point today before I go out. Um, but I started to do things like putting up the post and snag. So behind me, which is completely going to be bright, is my desk, my home desk. I've been having a very difficult time all year, all of 2017, sitting at that desk. Uh, whether it be because of the pain and I couldn't sit there for too long, um, now to being the breeze is blowing through the windows and sitting at the desk, which uh, last week was okay because the heat was coming out. The heat is no longer um, helping my body and now my body gets torn down. So I'm making this post because for the last, let's say, three hours, even though I only sat at my computer for about half an hour, uh, 45 minutes, the cold sitting there, even though I had a sweater on, had a blanket, had um, my socks, I, like I bundled myself up, was too cold that it's caused my thighs and my inner hips to um, tingle and um, feel stabbing and things like that. So um, had to leave the computer desk. I have to figure out two things today. Uh, one, I need to get my workout in because uh, I like to say that God has put me on a permanent health plan and exercise regimen now. I cannot go two or three days without moving. If I do, uh, my body hurts. And now that it's cold outside and me wanting to go outside, if I don't somehow warm up my body and my muscles, uh, stepping outside is going to be extremely, extremely painful. So I'm going to get my workout on. Um, which I'm doing at home while I'm away from my trainer, Hope, and my PT, uh, Emma, what's up? And I'm going to try and get ready, hopefully begging, praying, that I manage to make it out uh, to hang out with my ministry uh, crew. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep you posted because it's another very cold day outside and I have to find a balance between... Uh, making sure that my body is prepared uh, without over uh, draining it and still finding a way to put energy back into my body before I go outside. So stay tuned. Let's see what the end of this day holds. Fingers crossed. Bye. You hear that? That's the wind coming through the window and the door at my apartment and the wind blowing on my balcony. And it is so cold outside that I am unable to sit at my desk. So uh, I'm about to start cussing and I don't do that often, but it is Ross cold outside. Literally, I have been in my car for 10 minutes. I've had to have my gloves on. I literally just took them off to take this video. My left leg, which is by the door, is like tingling. My back is going off. My fingers and my arms are going numb. Um, I don't even want to drive with my hand um, close to the door. So when people are talking about this stuff feels like cold and freezing, we're not playing. Imagine sticking your hand in ice and you know that pain that you get when it gets so cold? Yeah, take that and times it by 10 and that's what we're dealing with people. This is not funny. 
Okay, so um, I managed to go out today. Yay. But it was at a very costly price. I went out to dinner with my ministry team, which I'm so, so blessed and thankful for. But then I ended up spending a good hour and a half just rubbing my left leg because the pain from the weather started a minor flare up on me that different parts of my body, even my right side of my body while in the restaurant um, started having uh, tingling sensations. Um, driving in the cold is a whole new ball game for me. Uh, Either last year my body was used to it or the weather wasn't this bad or when it actually became cold here in Toronto I had already encountered the accident so I was really inside so this is technically my very first winter with fibromyalgia and I hate it I hate it um, skiing skating cross-country um, skiing, taking a walk in nature may not be options for me ever again. Um, or it might take until next year for me to strengthen my body more. I don't, I don't know. What I do know is that it hurts, it stings, it burns. Um, I tried to push myself to do my workout today. And I couldn't do it because both of my legs had been still feeling the after effects. So normally when someone walks away from something that's cold, maybe it takes them 10 minutes, max half an hour for their body to warm up. I spent three hours um, because my body, my legs were still tingling after just sitting at the computer. And now that I'm back home and I expose my body to more coldness, uh, it's even worse right now. It takes only 25 steps from my car to my building. And to walk those steps hurt with the weather beating on my body. To drive in the cold at nighttime when there's no sun to even warm up any of your environment makes it more difficult. Um, I'm talking to you right now and my left leg uh, words that I'm learning to use are stabbing, tingling, burning, aching. Not only will I probably have to sleep with a heating pad on my back, but I also purchased a full heat blanket um, for my whole bed and I'm going to definitely have to use that because I can still feel the chill of the cold in my bones and in my joints. And I, at this point in time, can't sleep. Um, I know I have to take a sleeping pill tonight. Um, I'm very thankful that I have no outdoor errands tomorrow. I just don't know what I'm gonna wake up to, to tomorrow. Will I be able to, will I be able to move? So this comes down to the question of what's good for you, what's not. Do I regret going and spending a few hours with my friends? No, because there's a part of me that needs to get outside of my house, that needs to not feel like I am um, captured in my home, that I am, you know, confine it to my home because of this disease, um, of this pain. Um, and sometimes there's been a, a, a piece where you have to grin and bear it. Am I going to have consequences? Yes. Um, we will see what it is like, um, how I get through the night to my fibro people, my chronic pain people, I get it, and I am so sorry that you have to go through this, that we have to go through this. Um, this is actually really scary, you guys. 
to know that if I go outside, not if, but I will feel pain because of nature. Um, so, uh, this is hard. Today was really, really hard. I do not regret bringing peace and love and laughter into my life uh, this evening by spending it with my friends, but it came at a consequence to my body. And that is something that um, those dealing with chronic pain has to deal with, finding that balance between health health mentally, health physically, health emotionally. I got my health psychologically today in being with friends, but I didn't get my health today because uh, of the weather. So we'll see what tonight brings. Uh, we'll see if I make it through the night. I know, I know I have to take a sleeping pill tonight. My body just can't take it. Um, uh, this is me signing off, uh, hoping that I just get through the night right now because winter does not agree with me anymore. And, uh, it kind of breaks my heart. It really does. But, um, this is part of the journey and I'm hoping somewhere, some way that there's an answer to, uh, to allowing me to enjoy uh, the winter wonderland and the snow that comes. So, good night. Um, I'll update you in the morning. And we'll see what goes from there. Bye. Okay, hi everyone. So, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. After I did my last video update, uh, I somehow managed to fall asleep. I'm guessing or thinking that the cold and how it affects my body is using so much energy that it's making me tired. So I actually kind of just passed out again after. But um, I've probably been up for at least the last half an hour because my body started doing these random pains and shooting random pains at me which sometimes happen so i'm in home i'm in bed but my feet are cold my legs are still numb and tingling and aching um my hands and my back are still still feeling it from going outside today um so i'm going to finally kind of really get into my heated blanket and try and fall back to sleep and I just took my sleeping pill so I'm hoping that that kicks in really well because with my sleeping pill it means that I won't um I'll the likelihood of me still waking up in uh due to pain is less likely or limited the only thing about taking sleeping pills is that it doesn't necessarily always guarantee that you have a restful uh, night of sleep. So um, the journey continues uh, going out in the cold. And it could actually just be the fact that I went out into the cold two nights in a row and so my body is really feeling it. So again, um, it's part of the journey. I don't know everything i'm gonna have to somehow tomorrow over the next few weeks just research through the through the various uh fibro groups i'm part of on facebook and see what people have been saying or ask questions uh, and see who responds and um, um the sleeping pills kicking in thank you jesus because i really don't want to stay up with the way my legs are feeling so the fiber my the fiber my monologues continue this is me trying to get to sleep again so good night y'all or hopefully it's good night bye